Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and now I can say this is not tutorial today I will speak about some um, let's say tips and tricks actually we will speak about uh, some external tools for Revit uh, okay uh, as you know uh, Revit have some additional tools so uh, you can find it in uh, Autodesk App Store or you can find it somewhere in internet because uh, Revit API it's a uh, almost uh, open so you can even write your own program as I'm doing as you can see here uh, my own panel with my own function so uh, I already uh, showed you uh, like few few months ago the uh, PyRevit I highly recommend you uh, find this PyRevit and download it if you don't know where you can find this uh, external tools I will leave you uh, some additional links below this video and just go there find these links and go and install install this uh, tools this is really cool tools uh, you can watch the video on the right side on your screen right now okay so next um, but actually today I want to speak about the other one tools uh, you I you will find it here for example under add-ins here and this is quick select I think most of you know the quick select already but uh, the other parts don't didn't even heard about this uh, quick select so what is it and how it will help to you in work I will show you right now let's say I have a situation kind of like this now I need to uh, uh, select all the walls on the second floor so how can how come I can do that so on for example in this 3D screen? Um, I don't have any way to do it. Actually, I have, but it will be so long long way. Like uh, for example, use the filters, uh, or for example, I can use the hide mode or something like this. So it will takes time so much. So quick tools will make this um, uh, this goal so faster so now I will uh, switch on the my quick tools you can see this is a tab with quick tools and as I said I need wall on the second floor right so I'm choosing the wall and let's go for example uh, let's uncheck here uh, where is my uh, level level we will find first level uh, base constraint we can find or yeah we will use the base constraint and we will use the second floor let's say okay and now few seconds as you can see 53 walls on the second floor if you don't believe me okay let's uh, isolate it as you can see all the walls on the second floor now right here uh, actually this uh, quick select will help you when you need to select some uh, some special objects for example you need select for example um, let's say doors but not all the doors or not uh, just one family you want to select some uh, uh, you, you know which type of the family you want select so let's go to the doors here for example we will find the family name and as you can see here all the doors with all the names what I have in my project for example I need only these doors double glass door one let's say let's check here let's say okay one door we find it our one door it's somewhere there so it's here as you can see uh, let's make uh, the let's make our goal it's more more complicated for example i need doors let's say i need floors uh, i need uh, uh, only the floors on the second level for example also i need to uh, uh, select um let's say what furniture and furniture on the uh, level one for example and i need also the wall on level one based constraint level one let's say okay and as you can see uh, let's say i'll isolate it now revit uh, i i mean quick select help to us select it what we want so now we get it uh, actually we can make with quick select uh, really also one more nice thing I will show you right now uh, because uh, uh, quick select have two modes it's or or and or means uh, uh, if uh, we not will find for example curtain walls uh, for example like this right we have here the two 
uh, two scores. For example, if uh, the quick select not will find the curtain walls, but he find it, uh, doors, he will uh, select to us only doors. If uh, the quick select will find curtain walls and doors, he will find uh, all these things. But end mode working uh, a bit different. For example, I need doors. Uh, let's say I need doors, uh, which type of the doors? Let's say I need the, some type of the door. I need type of the door flush, right? This one. But I need this type of the doors only on the level two. And also I want the doors only uh, with, for example, the type, let's say the type, let's only this type. So I have three now uh, things with what I want to do, right? So this is type, this is level, and this is family. Let's say OK. And we find the 23 doors with this kind of settings. So uh, as you see, this is a really powerful program. You can use, for example, for all uh, for your project. Uh, this is totally free program. I will leave you the link below this video where you can download it. Uh, when you will install it, so you will find it under Add-ins and here Quick Select. But guys, I will tell you one thing more. For example, uh, we have for example doors, right? Uh, let's say we have the doors and we have here the all the uh, all the some. Uh, settings, right? Let's say uh, here is my wall, for example. I'm choosing the wall, and here under the comments, I'll write uh, the name like no. So we have the comments for this uh, wall, no. Let's go to the quick select, uh, let's go to the end. I will find here the walls, and I need the wall with, with my comments. Let's find, as you can see here, comment. Let's open the comments, and you can see comment no. And that's not finished. So let's create, for example, sharing param parameter. I will go to the manage and here I will find the, for example, project parameter. Let's do the project parameter. Add the project parameter. We will, we will write like uh, test here. We will do it like sharing parameter. No, no, I will like, I will leave like project parameter. It's okay. We will find here the walls. Okay, let's say okay. And here we'll test on the walls. Let's say OK. Let's choose the wall. And now we will find here the under dimension test. So this is new parameter. And of course, if you will go to the additional quick select and we'll find our wall, we will find this parameter too. So it's here, test. And as you can see here, now zero because nothing. So guys, I uh, highly recommend you use this tool. So sorry, it's not tutorial today. This is just uh, some introduction to some uh, tools which make your life much easiest. I think, uh, I hope it was uh, helpful for you. Uh, leave the comment, don't forget. Uh, don't forget about the likes and see you soon. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.